Oasis Speedway actually wasn't intended to be found within Thieves' Den originally. In fact, Thieves' Den and Oasis both feature many textures and models that were ripped straight from Cutthroat Cove. The Cutthroat Cove chest in Jurassic Jungle has this particular yellow pattern texture that's found within so many objects in Thieves' Den. When you take into account that Cutthroat Cove would have featured Spanish architecture, pirates, and would have been a water level, these lighthouses, pyramids, and palm trees really further the fact that Oasis was intended for Cutthroat Cove. Even the music for Oasis, when compared to the short Pirates track, featured the same sample and style, signifying the connection between the two. Kenneth managed to track down the master disc soundtrack of the game, which is a disc composers make to archive all their work on a project. This disc contained a whopping 42 songs, whilst the final game only uses 28. Meaning that 14 songs found on this disc are entirely unused and aren't even present in the files of Spyro 4. We can't stress enough how important getting these tracks is as a whole. Plus, they also give insight into more cut levels and how far they got before getting axed. This music would have never seen the light of day if Kenneth didn't track them down for us. But considering Emilio and Emiliano were responsible for a decent portion of the soundtrack, but got no credit whatsoever thanks to their contracts, contacting Emiliano proved to be just as helpful as Kenneth, as he also provided fantastic insight and even his tracks he did for the game. He worked along with his friend Gustavo Garcia, who recorded the guitar chords for tracks such as Lava Slide and Crop Circle Country. In total, the duo did four songs for the game, two which were used and two which weren't. You humming about Spyro, we just loaded in. Hi guys, welcome back. Scanning here, and we're off for more of Spyro 4 Enter the Dragonfly in the last episode. We started off with Jurassic Jungle, where all of our breaths come into play. Used our fire breath to solve a puzzle in this ancient tomb that is practically on top of a volcano. And we used our lightning breath to take out a few enemies, as well as free some big, well, T Rex 1000s. Like, Riptox that these mice have been building for some bizarre reason. They have now gone rogue because, I mean, they're Riptox and I'm guessing they reacted to the Riptox that they sent here or Ripto's magic. Who knows? But yeah, we also finished off with a slide down the active volcano. Like, we must have teleported up top and we just slid all the way down. Lava is spewing, but it's not exactly actively erupting. I think we've just been had. But we did get Sarji out of it, which is like one of those important dragonflies we must protect. <laughs> I say that because if you've heard the documentary, things weren't so good for him. Poor dude. But you know, it's all good. And yeah, in this episode we're just going to continue going through because we are pretty, pretty much halfway through this level already. Let's make our way through here. Doesn't look like we can do much else. Why have these got, like, very chrome-like finishes to them? It's a bit weird. Freeze, mister! T1 freeze. That was bad. Considering that, you know, they're probably, like, supposed to be, like, Terminator-like Riptox, and then, you know, their weakness is to ice. It's like a double, Ar a a double Arnold Pandra, if you get what I mean. Because it's like, you have to stay cool! You know, because he played Mr. Freeze in, that, in Batman and Robin. Which was a terrible film, but hey-ho. I see invincibility. It's got a shield. What else could it be? Let's make our way through. What's with this lighting? It's like a wall. <laughs> Not that I'm going to knock that, because, I mean, that's how it was done in the uh, N64 days. And, you know, it's an easy way to do the effect. Considering time constraints. Again, not going to blame. Uh, I'm just going to do that. I don't know why I'm taking out both these fodder, I'm just going to leave that one. It was mainly due to the fact that I could get a 1-up, and I kind of need them, Thieves' Den. Like, I was talking about how bad Thieves' Den is, and then I legit get screwed out, even though I was doing head bashes to try and ensure that it wouldn't happen. Uh, like, the gem is going off the sides, and some corpses still got tossed over, but apparently I grabbed the gem and never noticed. It's crazy. Oh, hey! Careful. Let's take out all these caveman riptox. Caveman? Cave tox? The pre prehistoric tox? I mean, riptox are dinosaurs, so I don't know what to tell you. 
I don't even know why they're wearing loincloths. Gosh darn it! Those blasted R1000s destroyed my lab and ran off with my equipment! Um, hello? Oh, um, hey Spyro. Say, I, I don't suppose you could help me get my equipment back, could you? Yeah, bring him on. Great! Thanks, Spyro! Well, you, you, you see all those R1000s out there? Oh, they borrowed my equipment. I need you to go down and get it back for me. Simple. Oh, that's all you want me to do? Uh, and how exactly do you want me to do that? There's a lava pit out there. I mean... You did kind of say hello, implying that you were available to help, Spyro. I think the sass is kind of unwarranted, just saying. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it just so happens that we scientists here have needed to go onto the lava also. We therefore developed these devices that you can use too. Here, let me turn it on for you. I mean, the power gate was already on. I saw it when I was on my way down, so... Yeah. Now all you have to do is pass through this gateway, and you will be able to walk onto the lava without being hurt. However, Spyro, the invulnerability that you have to the lava won't last long, but you can come back and recharge if necessary. I like how they have to drag out how they explain things when it was just like, walk through the gate of this uh, invincibility power-up and you'll be invincible for a short time. Walk through the recharge, that's how it would normally be said, but they're scientists, they have to go over the top. Now it's time to go kick some rip talk butt. Good luck to you. <laughs> I don't know why I like that one. But yeah, let's go kick some rip talk butt. That's definitely reused. Yeah, we're starting to see uh, some things here. Right, so we've got lightning. We need to take them... Oh, it is ice that we need to use. Okay, so the ones that we were supposed to use lightning on, you can just freeze and charge into them anyway. So you don't actually need electricity. That's kind of a weird thing, isn't it? Also, I'm taking care of these guys. I don't think I've been picking up... The, yeah, I haven't been picking up the... Be, the... Sorry. Scientists' equipment, which are just beakers, that should be shattering due to the immense heat that we are witnessing under our feet. But what do I know at this point? Also, our timer still ticks down while we're in the cutscene of grabbing stuff. So you really don't want to be hanging around. You really need to get psh, moving. Right, so let's go this way then for a bit. Freeze, mister. Yeah, a bit weird that we were able to freeze them when they're on lava. I think I said in the last episode that that wouldn't make much sense. I think they were supposed to be weak to electricity and the other one's not so, but I don't know. It's a bit weird. And I can't confirm or deny that. There is a dragonfly just hovering above the lava. Let's save you real quick. Yeah, as you can see, my timer was still going down, so that's not even a joke. There we are, we've got a renew. This lasts for quite a while, by the way, so we're able to just take our time and try to find these guys. I mean, even though I'm charging all over the place, because there's no gems here. It's also kind of weird how these guys, you know, they actually melt when we smash them, but they don't actually melt while actually being on the lava. It's kind of weird. Also, there's the beaker. Yeah, Sparks doesn't pick them up for your, like, gems. You have to actually step over them yourself. Uh, where's the last one? Around here. Well, I need to get a renew anyway, because I wasn't about to burn, so... I think we're actually coming back around this way. I'll just hop right through here. No, I can't do that! I, I can't jump on the wall at all. Alright, that was kind of, a uh, scary. <laughs> a bit of trouble there. Right, let's uh, make our way back through this way. Up around the corners here. Because there was a little pathway down here that we could potentially take as well. I think it's this bit. No, this just goes around the outer edge. But there was a pathway. That much I'm sure of. This might be the one. Well, what's with the lighting? Kind of cheap looking, but also kind of cool looking. <laughs> Mystical, even. There we are. Killed them all. He landed out of the lava, so we're fine. We have another gate here as well. We have all of the beakers, which is great. A couple of gems here. But we also have another minigame gate. 
What could this one be? We've done all the slides and the speedways now. So, what could this one be? Well, let's climb up and find out. So we are almost at the end of our adventure now. After we're done with this level and grab just a few more gems, it's time to take the fight to Ripto, even though we pretty much had access to him, I believe after Thieves Den by grabbing everything. We're at another volcano! Welcome to the tower of scary and ridiculous heights! <laughs> And climb to the top of the tower, you will prove yourself worthy of the tower's secret treasure. Why a tower exists in the middle of the jungle is a secret hidden away ages ago. I mean, you could say the same about all the ruins, honestly. And this is a pretty unique one. It involves climbing. Now, Exo Paradigm Gamer made an interesting point during his Sparrow 2, where climbing just seemed to be like a gate for collectibles, and that was literally it. You could get through the whole game without it, effectively. So if they actually did something with the climbing that was interesting and difficult, this would basically be it. Do you dare climb that tower of hell? <laughs> no problem. That's the spirit, Spyro. Watch out for falling rocks and blow dart trap. Uh, there are some mean looking spiders up there too. Uh, just avoid everything and get to the top. Alright, calm yourself. You challenge me, but then you're like, ah, I can't tell you everything. And weird thing is, is that we don't have sparks, yet we have an energy bar, which would be if we had sparks and max health. Yeah, just the way that they program the mini games, so you always have to have an energy bar, basically. But we do have our usual abilities, including our breaths. Although, it's not going to make much of a difference. Uh, I'll keep ice just in case when we get out of here. But yeah, it, this actually uses climbing to a good, uh, into good effect. Because we've got to basically climb all the way up here and dodge all the obstacles in order to get through. Can I actually climb through this little gap here if I jump? I mean, I could if I... Hello! That's not what I want to do. And I should have basically had concussion or broken horns from that height. Oh, oh, oh god, hang on. I can't move left. Okay, I guess I'll go straight up then. And... Hey, what is going on? I can't move. <laughs> right, that was a bit weird. I literally couldn't move for a moment. I was speaking praises about you, minigame, and then you had to go and do that sort of shindiggery. Not exactly the best thing to do. Right, let's uh, hug the side. I think we're safe. Yeah, we're safe. Just scuffing the edges of the boulders there. There are no checkpoints. you got to do it all in one go. There's two boulders here, so we're going to shimmy over this way. Dodge the blow darts. Oh, I'm good. I took a hit. I'm fine. Didn't get knocked down. Uh, hop off because these spiders. Um, yeah, they're very realistic looking spiders for this game. I don't actually like them. Thankfully, we can actually get rid of them by blowing some breath on them. I should be using fire, actually. Spiders actually ate fire. If uh, Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets on the exact same systems has taught me anything. Incendio the spiders. Or Arania Exame if you're actually, you know, got that spell. Oi! Okay, I jumped and I somehow slid above him. That's fine. Get rid of you. You're gonna be a pain in the bottom. It's kind of funny as well, because like the way that they walk, it looks like they're dancing to the beat. And I can't move again. We just get up here, we are golden! I only took a single hit from a dart, and even then, kinda of cheated a little bit. How'd you get up here? I didn't see you climb. That was terrific, Spyro. I've never seen anyone get up here before. Really? Then how did you get up here? Yeah, exactly my fault, Spyro. Oh, that. Well, there's a hidden elevator that only I know how to find. But anyway, uh, you'll have to keep it a secret. But there's not really any treasure up here. <laughs> I never actually thought that anyone could get to the top. You've been had again. Look at these mice being sneaky. What? So I did all that for nothing? I'm not gonna lie, Spyro's beginning to sound a bit like SpongeBob right now. Well, I guess I should give you something. It's not much, 
but I found this dragonfly hiding in my secret elevator. Here, you can have it. Thank you. Something good did come out of your cheating. <laughs> hey, it's warm. I don't have any more dragonflies to give you, but you can try climbing to the top again if you want. You know, uh, just for fun. You do know what fun is, don't you, Spyro? Don't give me any of that. You tricked me going up there to begin with, and I could have got squished. Okay. This tower has been here for years, and it will be here when you decide to try again. And we have no need to do so. Yeah, it's kind of a weird thing where it's like, you know, these mice just don't respect our time. <laughs> And yeah, they're also cheating, because like, they threaten me with like, oh, you're not hard enough to do with this challenge, and then we're like, you know, we're going to do this to get the reward. There is no reward, but there actually is. And then they just somehow beat us to the end anyway. Like, how do they do that? Like, how did the other dude get down to the bottom of the mountain before we did? On the slide. We didn't see him go by. Did he teleport? I mean, they are scientists. Also, I don't think uploading Please Wait actually happened... Uh, why was I facing toward the ball? <laughs> yeah, it didn't happen last ball. Uh, oh, do I have to kill these guys again? Right, make sure I've got ice breath. Good, I don't have to kill them again. I still have the beakers. I was about to say, <laughs> I sh probably should have went back and handed in the beakers. I mean, all the enemies respawned, obviously, but I don't really need to worry about them, really. I'll just completely bypass them. Apparently there was a basket I missed up here though, so we'll smash that quickly while we give this dude his lab equipment back. AKA just beakers, no buttons and burners or anything in a hot place. Great job, Spyro! <laughs> you found them all! Here, I found this dragonfly under some broken equipment I found in my lab. You can have it! I hope he isn't cut or anything. <laughs> hey, it's Jason. Hang on, was that... was that a second? I'm pretty sure that's like another... Didn't... I swear we had a Jason, um... Dragonfly before. I'm pretty sure. That's a bit weird. But... Just move on. <laughs> I've got like no invincibility left, but that's not going to be that too much of a problem really, because I'm not going to die too often in this level. In fact, I believe we're almost near the end of the level. Yeah, definitely not as long as bloody Thieves' Den, especially with that stupid water room. God, that really drove me up the wall. It drives everyone up the wall. I even warned about it, and I still got wrecked by it. Like, I'm still hung up about that. It's like, that was so bad. Right, I've got everything around here, right? I don't need you. Everything up here? There's a little hidey hole here. I just heard something break. What the hell broke? Oh, uh, okay. Just draw me in. I was trying to look at what broke. It's Spyro! That bad old thief over there stole something from me. Can you believe that? Uh, yeah, actually, I can. He stole a biomolecular hologram projector from me. And if you would kindly retrieve it, I will reward you graciously. Alright, no worries. Although, how's it handling against the heat? Alright, so we need to get this power up and give this guy a chase. Uh, don't ask me how he's able to just literally hot foot it on the lava without get renewing his invincibility. I guess he just has really sturdy shoes. Also, we can take all three of these out by just charging them. And that's the last of them. And I believe that is actually the... Uh, finish for this actual level, because otherwise you won't get the dragonfly at the end. I need to come back to the start here in order to renew my shield, and since he's a bit far away, I'm going to go down that this way, get this extra life here real quick, and then give chase to this guy once again. Yeah, this is the unfortunate thing. You need to cut the corners in order to catch up with him majorly in order to actually get him, because otherwise you're not. You would have to go and recharge, and I think I'm close enough. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm actually playing with fire here. <laughs> Get it? Ha ha! Shit. Ah, I missed him. There we go, got him. 
Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to bank the win. Ah! Dang it! <laughs> Shouldn't have pushed. Maybe I'll get the item still when I respawn. Who knows? Nope, I don't think it counted. You back? Don't think he's back. Did I pick it up when I was reloading? Let me talk to this guy. How did I do a ground pound without moving? I must have tapped the E button ever so slightly and didn't realise. <laughs> Great job, Spyro! I knew you could do it! Here, take this. It's a dragonfly I found in the jungle. Okay, so it did give it to me. Hey, it's Bonky. That was good to know. Alright. Now, that's not a problem anymore, even though it did cost me a 1-up, because I really pushed to get him. Oh, if, I, if only I could take, like, maybe, like, one or two more hits at that point, I probably would have been able to salvage. Also, there's just a gate here, which is what you intend to run through when you're going round. Because, you know, this gate's not exactly in the most optimal spot for that sort of thing. Uh, just going to do one more once over to make sure I'm not missing any gems, although they haven't really been putting that many gems on lava. Although, I do have to question how the hell baskets that you normally destroy with your flame breath can stand on lava. I'm guessing they've been chucked through this and since it's not, you know, a living thing, they may have proper invincibility unless they just get very brutal when I just smack them one with my noggin. Spyro, you made it! Great job! Thanks, Eggman. Uh, it was no sweat. Ah! As a reward for your heroic efforts, and in the name of good science, please accept this as a reward. <laughs> hey, it's Wonky! And he just happens to be our last dragonfly. We have all 90. What are we missing so far? We're only missing uh, 17 gems. We are 99% complete. Let's go find those gems. They must be on the tunnel to the back end of the uh, entrance of this level. Uh, I don't think I needed to wait for that, actually, so I'm just going to... Concussion! <laughs> yep, this seems to be where the last of them are, as well as the exit portal. There we are! We have them all! If we follow this little pathway back around... Smash through the wall. Smash through the wall. Okay, the wall didn't want to smash. It wanted to open up. Literally a complete lap. The ending was right at the start. And that's it. That is all the collectibles of Sparrow 4 and the Dragonfly. There's only one thing to do now. And that is to take on Ripto. And restore Dragonfly magic to the Dragon Realms. It's actually been pretty quick although it did take a little bit longer than i expected see you guys next time